What is going on guys, T Tizzle here bringing you another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to easily defeat the Red Worm boss fight here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Zombies so that you guys can unlock the legendary Ether Tool schematic which will instantly turn your gun into a gold level rarity, the flawless Ethereum Crystal schematic which will instantly triple pack a punch any weapon you have, and then finally the Scorcher schematic which will instantly spawn the Scorcher Wonder Weapon for you. If you guys do find this video useful or entertaining, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment down below, and hitting that subscribe button. And with that, let's go ahead and hop right into the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to one of two locations on the map. The first is where I'm showing here. It's going to be in the top right hand corner of the map. You're going to run into this building and you're going to run up these stairs here and you're going to find these four pictures on the wall. Once you find those four pictures, that's going to show you exactly where you need to go. So the next location that I'm going to show you guys is going to be on the opposite top left hand side of the map. And it's going to be the exact same thing. You're going to run into the building where I am marking right now. You're going to run up the stairs and it's going to show you four locations on the map. Those four pictures are going to be extremely important for where you need to go next. So starting with the first location in the top left hand corner, what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to pull up your mini map and find where that is on the map. So you see I just marked it there and then what you're going to do is travel to that exact location. Once you are at the location, all you're going to need to do is find the UAV tower and interact with it. Once you interact, it's going to spit out a USB drive and from here you just need to stow that USB drive and travel to the next location. Next, we're going to look for the bottom left-hand corner side. So this is going to be the palace in the tier 3 zone. We're going to need to do the same thing and travel to that location. So you see, I am at that tower in tier 3. All we're going to need to do is look for a UAV tower, interact with the UAV tower. It's going to spit out another USB drive. Just stow the USB drive and then move on to the next location. Moving on to the top right hand picture, we're going to need to pull up our mini map and find that exact location. So we travel to the location here. I'm going to show you what it looks like here. So once you are at the location, same thing, you're just going to look for the UAV tower, interact with the UAV tower, and it's going to spit out another USB drive. That's three down and one final one to go. And looking at the bottom right hand picture here, we're going to move on to the last location to get the final USB drive. So for my last location, it was here on the map where I'm showing you now, and we're going to follow the same principle. We're going to have to find a UAV tower, which is kind of towards the top where I am. You will interact with this UAV tower. It's going to give you the final USB drive. Once you guys have all of these USB drives, you are free to move on to the next step of this Easter egg. So the very next thing you guys are going to want to do is just find out where the boss fight is going to be. So you're going to pull up your mini map and look for two ammo caches that have spawned right by each other. So for me, it was here in the soccer field, but that doesn't mean that's where it's going to be for you guys. Once you guys know where the boss fight is going to occur, you want to spend the rest of the game getting fully kitted up because this is a difficult boss fight. I will show you guys how I would recommend getting kitted up if you don't have the best gear to make this as easy as possible. These are the four items I recommend getting before attempting the boss fight. So the first one is going to be to obtain a gold weapon. The easiest way to do this is to buy it off the wall in the tier 3 zone. But if you want to use your personal favorite weapon, that is going to be fine too, as long as you have the legendary ether tool to use. The next two items are a durable gas mask and a three plate vest. The durable gas mask is the most important because you are going to be fighting in the ether storm. And without the durable gas mask, you simply will not survive. And then finally are going to be kill streaks. If you can just stockpile any sentry guns or juggernaut, it's going to make it extremely easy. So I will link in the description below the top five guns that I think are the best to use. And then a video on how to get a durable gas mask and three plate vest in one game if you guys don't have it. But these are the four items you absolutely need to have before attempting this boss fight. So once you guys have obtained all of the necessary items in order to successfully complete this ether storm, all you're going to need to do is travel to where the boss fight is going to occur. So for me, again, that is going to be in the D5, C5 area where the soccer field is. And then you just need to wait for the ether storm to get here. Once the ether storm gets here, you just need to interact with all four of the activators here. And these four activators are going to correspond to the four USBs that you guys found earlier inside of this tutorial. So as soon as the ether storm is closing in, all you're going to need to do is travel to all four of these. No matter where you are, they're going to be in close proximity to each other. So travel to all four of those and initiate every single one of them. And then from there, it is just going to be a waiting game, waiting for the boss to spawn. 
but like i was saying guys this is in the ether storm so your durable gas mask is going to be taking a hit so make sure you guys are staying near weapon caches so that whenever your durable gas mask does get weak you can go ahead and refill them and then after about a minute of hitting the activators the red worm boss will finally appear and then you guys just have to do your best to take down this boss as quickly as you possibly can if you guys came in with all the items that i told you to he isn't too difficult but at the end of the day this is still the hardest boss in the game who has the ability to one shot you so it's not something you should take lightly you guys will see in kind of the top left hand corner right below the mini map we have about eight minutes left in the game that signifies how long you have until you have to defeat this boss if you do not kill him inside of that eight minute window the game will end and all the players will die and you will lose all the items that you had but if you do kill him inside of the eight minute window you will get your own personal x fill that will take you out of the game instantly so from here guys you just want to make sure you are running back and forth between the ammo caches like you're seeing me do here paying attention to your durable mask and as soon as it gets down to like one tick you want to hit the ammo cache which will instantly reheal your durable mask so just keep doing that back and forth and then shooting the orange shards on the side of the boss's body to take down his health as quick as possible and just like that we went ahead and finished and killed this boss here it took us about three minutes so as long as you guys have a solid team you guys won't struggle with doing this but it definitely is not something to take lightly and then from there you're going to see the boss is going to end up dying and then if you run over right to where he died you will actually find a weapon case on the ground which is the wonder wall for me this time but that could be any weapon case and then if you go to the reward gift you have a guaranteed schematic drop rate and in this video i have the flawless ethereum diagram so that's going to do it for the video, guys. If you did find this tutorial useful or entertaining, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment down below, and hitting that subscribe button. And with that, I will catch you guys all in the next one.